Okay, peace. What's up, everyone? Enzo Reacts back here. You already know we are back with another pizza review here. You guys want to go check my last upload? Uh, we did Boston Pizza for our pizza review. Um, yeah, now I'm doing another restaurant today, which is one you guys may not know, especially if you're not from Waterloo or Kitchener or just that area. Um, it, the restaurant I went to is called Barley Works which is uh, in the Hoother Hotel, which is a very historic, um, well, it was, it was a hotel at one point now, I don't think it is now, it's just a bunch of restaurants, uh, the, kind of, it's kind of a, more of a pub. Yeah, this is more of a pub type pizza, so I'm excited, because this is the first kind of pub pizza we've had. This is a box here, guys, very plain white box, no, no branding. Again, this is a small pizza, uh, eight inch, and it came to, well, the base price is nine seventy five, and then for create your own, because I had to create my own, um, and then you do. I had three toppings. Each topping is a dollar, so it ended up at twelve seventy five for a small. Not not bad. Not not great, but I mean it's a it's again some more of a pub, more of a restaurant. We gotta consider that. So that's not bad. Okay, there we go. Here we go. Okay. Okay, guys. Not bad. I'm not seeing that much toppings on it though. Really not a whole lot of toppings, but... Yeah, let's uh, pull. Not really any pull at all, to be honest, which is too bad. No flop. I don't know, it smells... It smells like a homemade pizza. It kind of reminds me of Jack's in terms of smell. Like a very... I think I smell the, the crust the most. Here we go. Barley Works at Hoother Hotel. Hey guys, peace. Enzo your ex back here, you already know. Um, yeah, it's the next morning. Uh, sorry guys, I couldn't do the pizza review in one take. Um, now let's just start with the crust. Definitely a homemade crust, don't get me wrong. We can, it's kind of irregular in terms of the circle. Um, it looked homemade. and tasted, It tasted fresh enough. Um, it had a nice, nice little crisp on the bottom. It was not bad, it had a little crisp at the edge. I think that was the first one we had some good crisp at the edge, which was nice. Um, it didn't flop, but again, it was so small, it was kind of hard to flop anyways. Yeah, crust was pretty good. I have no complaints about that. Um, the cheese... Could have been a little bit more cheese, no lie. Um, it didn't really taste like anything, to be honest. It didn't pull at all. Uh, it didn't quite have a nice bake mark on it. Um, it wasn't a greasy pizza though, so that's a good thing. The sauce... I don't know. I, I mean, average sauce, I don't know. It really didn't taste like too much to me. There wasn't really enough on there either way for me to taste it. Um, just kind of a regular plain sauce, very generic, uh, you know, American, North American tomato sauce. The toppings, pretty quality toppings, I won't lie. The mushrooms, a little bit of a weird cut of the mushrooms. I don't know, like they're kind of like in a square shape. Usually it's like a slice of a mushroom, but they, they, the mushrooms tasted pretty good. There was just some weird little slivers on there. They were... I don't know, one of my pieces of mushroom was like a little burnt, very strange. Um, the pepperoni, quality, you can see the way it crisps up, it was legitimate pepperoni. Um, a little, yeah, it tasted good. Fatty, very pork, strong pork flavor, crispy. Yeah, very quality pepperoni, for sure, top of the line. Uh, the bacon, interesting bacon, I think it had like fennel or something in it, because every time I taste the bacon, it's like a very unique flavor in there, I don't know if it's fennel or like a, I don't know what they had in there, but very strong flavor, very good, I just, yeah, I wish there was more bacon on there, there was barely any, you could tell when I was kind of panning over, um, I think there was enough mushrooms, maybe a little bit more, and pepperoni I think was solid for the amount of pizza that was there, I just wish the toppings were just distributed a little bit better, there was maybe a little bit more of certain ones, because they are quality toppings. Yeah, solid. Um, I'm gonna rate this uh, 4.5 out of 10. 4.5 out of 10, guys. Yeah, pretty good pizza. I mean, I wouldn't go back, really, necessarily. Yeah, alright guys. I'll do your next show. Peace.